What is good, everybody? Today we're reviewing the AEW and Rival Blood and Guts Last Man Standing Brody King and Darby Allen Ringside Exclusive 2-Pack. Very intrigued with this 2-Pack, man. I love the Blood and Guts line. I think it has a very illustrious history with Ringside Collectibles. Again, this is Ringside Exclusive, man. Of course, if you're going to go get this pack, you're already interested in it, you like the way it looks, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourself 10%. I would greatly appreciate it, man, but this pack is looking pretty damn sick. It looks amazing. I mean, we have so many Darby Allen figures. We have a lot of Brody King, actually, now. Three now. I mean, that's good. That's, I mean, it's, I guess it's not as much as Darby Allen, but you know what? It's, it's okay. But I'm very intrigued with this pack. You get some cool accessories. Can't wait to dive in there. But front viewing window, of course, you have Brody King. You have Darby Allen. You got interchangeable parts there. We get a skateboard, blood and guts at the bottom right there. Got their names along the side here. Of course, all the blood splatter that you could come to love. Ringside exclusive logo here on the side. You get more blood splatter and all this shish. AEW and Rival down there. On the back, you get an epic shot of the finish of that matchup, I think it was. And this matchup wasn't it wasn't really a last man standing match. It was a coffin match, wasn't it? Like, doesn't Darby choke? him out and then he falls and falls into the casket still a cool shot of darby there choking out brody king which is cool blood and guts there other side you get a shot of the talents of course that are included in the pack and that is our packaging for blood and guts darby allen and brody king man i can't wait to grab these figures and crack them out of the packaging man so, but with all that being said man let's crack open brody king and darby allen blood and guts put them on the rotating base and find out what these guys are all about so here's Darby Allen and Brody King out of the packaging, man. I'm enjoying these. I knew I would enjoy these. I mean, you got two guys that are beasts in the ring. Two of my favorite guys in AEW. I think these guys are fantastic. So just seeing these guys in this figure form with all their tattoos. I mean, we got some cool updates here with Darby. The blood and guts line is so damn awesome. So, th I mean, this just checks all the boxes for me. So, of course, I'm going to enjoy these. But let's dive into the just everything about the pack. Of course, we're going to unpack everything here. Dive into the details of the set. Get into the accessories. Do some comparisons and all the lore. So with that being said, man, let's dive into the accessories you get. In this blood and guts pack and then we'll move on to the figures themselves all right man, so getting into the accessories we have here man let's start off with the head sculpt like we always do so we do have this brody king head sculpt which i do believe is like the generic brody king head sculpt that we saw on his last unmatched series 8 figure but it does have all the blood coated on there you guys can see the face paint kind of withering away right there into the beard the white you know and everything going down dude what is sick? very realistic very good tones here man i think they did an excellent job here capturing this you know the blood's not layered or anything but it still looks so good that is so clean man great job right here on this head sculpt and then we also have the yelling expression which i think is so good man i really want to i think that's even more epic man i think it looks even more like brody king like the yelling head sculpt it shows me more likeness in my opinion but the hair's a little bit more matted or natted there i think it could have used a little bit more but i still think that the head sculpts look incredible dude look at that man he looks like he's about to go to war the teeth look good that's damn impressive man very nice stuff going on right here even has a tattoo on the head and then for darby ellen's head sculpts here i I can't tell if this is a repeat head sculpt. I want to say this is like the Unrivaled 3 head sculpt repainted, but I could be wrong about that. But you have the skull face paint in there, as always, with Darby. And he's got his blood spatter going on, his blonde hair looking good, man. Clean head sculpt. Really clean. No, like, weird eye stuff going on. So I think they did a good job here. And then we have this head sculpt, which I do believe is the Unrivaled 13 head sculpt, if I'm not mistaken, with the yelling expression. And for the most part, the face paint's pretty identical. The, the shape of the eye makeup's a little bit off on this one in comparison. But the face paint, you guys can tell this is early in the match compared to here so i don't know it's just a little bit odd there but at the same time i like the likeness i think both of these look like darby and that's really all you can ask for man i mean what, what else can you possibly ask for than that outside of that you also get both of both the men's necklaces or their uh chains that go around their neck so you got kind of the word life pendant going on for brody king here with the lock chain and then we also have the necklace that comes with darby allen so you get two different options there but you know this is can also be a weapon i mean both could be a weapon but you know what i mean but the, both of these have a really good skull and then probably the best accessory that you get is the skateboard with the nails or tacks in it here, which is such a sick thing, man. It's very like... I don't know, it's like very, you could absolutely snap it in half. I don't want to, but you easily could there. But it's got nice texturing and sculpt there. And what's really cool, and I think a cool Easter egg that they've done here, is they took the original, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a Baker board. Now, I have a, I have a very good skateboarding background, all right? I know all the lore of skateboarding. And so, I do believe he had a Baker board, and they did a really cool job here of changing the text to Darby. But it's in the same style as the Baker board, so I think that's really awesome. Great job there by Jazzwares and AEW there together. And then he's got thrashed options. 
and you guys remember, all right, shout out to my OGs. Anybody knows the thrashed option for the grip tape? This is what it looked like, man, when you're making your skater on Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, Tony Hawk's Under... Tony Hawk, I'll tell you this right now. I'm going to go off on a little bit of a tangent here. Shout out to my Tony Hawk fans, the video game series, and I mean, I, I guess the skater itself. But Tony Hawk's Underground is the greatest, and not including the skate games, all right? Tony Hawk's Underground, the original, is the best skating game of all time. Believe it. Tony Hawk's Underground 2, fantastic. A little bit more fun. I love the seriousness of the story from Thug 1. Nonetheless, this is epic. I love this as a skateboarding fan. This is this is sick. I always love the skateboards that come with Darby. And then for Interchangeable Hands, we do get the fisted hands for Brody King with the black tape that's actually sculpted on there, and then he's got the bloody fingers in there, which look really good. And these are bigger than, like, your standard AEW hands. And then he also has the sculpted tape here with the blood in there, with the bloody fingers and everything, but they're the wide open, sort of relaxed. I mean, you could do so many hands with it, but it's kind of like relaxed or reaching out style hands. And then for Darby, you also get sculpted white tape hands with his tattoos on there, which are very, very detailed. Great attention to detail there. And then he also comes with mic holding or weapon wielding style hands, which are also bloody and everything. And they included white pegs, man. So just a, a, a plausible, man. Beautiful. Great work here on the accessories. I mean, getting into Brody King, starting out the head sculpt again. Fantastic job on the head sculpt, man. Really enjoy it. Really enjoy this head sculpt. Let me fix this exposure a little bit here. Very clean, man. Going down into the neck, man. You got all this blood. I mean, this guy is a walking action figure, man. Look at all this blood going on. You have the tattoo details in here, which I love. I mean, this man is tatted galore. I'm not, I'm tatted, but I'm not as tatted as him. And sometimes I just forget that I'm tatted up. That's just, I, I don't know. Hey, maybe he feels that way too. I'd like to know. If you're tatted down below, like tatted. I'm not talking about like one tattoo on your forearm, Brad. If you're tatted up, I want to know if you forget about your tattoos, because I completely forget about them, man. But you have a lot of tattoo decals and details going all the way around, man. Black wrist tape. Still got the pins in there. Not the biggest deal to me, but he's got all of his blood going on, man. Just such a clean thing, man. I mean, look at this. You're not getting to the Sorcerer's Stone with this guy in the way. Just bad as hell, man. Just good, just great tattoo work all the way around. You got the Brody House of Black tights in there. Then you got the House of Black tights going on in the front. Just awesome just attention to detail here all over the legs and stuff like that and then we also have his black knee tape underneath the scythe knee pads and then he also has the flamed boots in the black and white which are so clean i know a lot of wrestlers rock these but even the tattoo detail on the calves is immaculate but i mean you're kind of getting like a repaint of the unmatched eight brody except it does have blood all over it however let's get into some brody king figure comparison and we're going to get into like singular brody king comparisons and then we'll get into like the group comparisons when we get the darby allen figure so here's the blood and guts brody king up next to the Unmatched Series 8 Brody King. Now, this Brody King has all, like, this is pretty much the exact same figure except repainted with blood all over it, and I have my normal unmasked Brody King head sculpt in a drawer, but it's the same exact head sculpt except it doesn't have the paint added to it and the blood added to it, but, I mean, they're essentially the same figure, and I, I've already talked about this before, but this Brody King figure is uh, up for, it's gonna be in the top 10 of the year from AEW so far, man, and, you know, we do our Supremes different than we do our Unrivaled and Unmatched. Like, we do an Unrivaled Unmatched countdowns together, like, mix those together because I call those figures unrivaled figures, like elites or elites. Just because you're an unmatched figure, I still call you an unrivaled figure. You're just in the unmatched line. But I think that there's a strong possibility that these guys go in together on a countdown. Jesus Christ in heaven above Betsy. I'm glad I got that on film. John Moxley just decided to end himself right here and bail off the shelf. Good God in heaven. Nonetheless, both these figures look damn good. And then for your other Brody King blood and guts comparison, we do have the Unmatched Series 8 Malachi Black with the Elite 73 Alistair Black head sculpt. And then we have Buddy Matthews, of course, over there as well. And this looks good up next to these as well. But, yeah, no, I, again, I just wanted to get this comparison in here. So getting into Darby Man, starting off the head sculpt like we always do. Very good head sculpt, you know, again. And I can't tell if this is the Unrivaled Series 3 just repainted. I don't think it is, but it could be. But a lot of his head sculpts are pretty similar. It's either a straight face, a gritting face, or a yelling face. I mean, I guess that's all wrestling head sculpts, really. I mean, it falls in three categories most of the time. And then you have a smile in there. But nonetheless, man, I like the way this sits. I, I like everything going on there. You have the blood around it and everything. They did add the Ain't Life Grand tattoo on his throat. And then he does have, of course, a signature Nothing's Over to Your Underground tattoo. I wish they would have made that thinner and lighter, to be honest. But I guess it's not the biggest deal ever. But he does have hand prints and blood spatter. He's got some airbrushed paint or some leftover paint going on. You guys can see there. White wrist tape, all the tattoos going on. No spine tattoo, but it does have the Relentless over there. And then, you know, it just sucks because, like, some figures have the spine tattoo, but then they don't have other tattoos, and it's just, like, annoying. Like this right here, right? This is the Unrivaled 13. You see, he has the spine tattoo, but then the Ain't Life Grand is covered and then, you know, everything like that. Like, this is one thing. Like, look at the chest tattoos. These need to be the exact same every 
every time, man. Don't ever, ever make that different. This needs to be the exact same every single time. It doesn't need to be printed a different way, a thicker, a lighter. It needs to be consistent across the board. Same thing with this sleeve. And you guys can see, right, so he has the spine tattoo. Doesn't have the spine tattoo, but then this figure has the full sleeve for the first time on the inner arm and everything. But this one only has the outer arm done. So that's what I'm talking about with the inconsistencies there. So I'd like to see, you know, the, the tattoo size and the way it's done. It needs to be perfect and it needs to be the same across the board. But like I said, his tattoos are here, man. And they finally got that in there. And it looks really good, man. They did a really good job there of capturing all this, all the shading and everything. His tattoos, like his tattoo sleeve is one just very sick, man. I love the way it looks. Like that skeleton arm and everything just fits him so well. I think it looks epic. Fits the body well. They did. He, whoever did that did a great job. But he's got his black shorts, got the white splatter, got some blood splatter added in with the dark gray shorts. And then you do have the black leggings or tights underneath. And he does have his short boots right there. And it, dude, Darby. Darby Hallen. His figures are just the best, man. They really are. Him and Kenny just are just so good, man. Like, he just feels like you could pose all day with this guy. He just, he just feels so good, man. I mean, like, look at him. Excellent stuff. I mean, just everything you want out of a figure. Has the details. Very toyetic. Feels great in hand. Captures the details. Let's get into some figure comparisons. So for your Darby Allen figure comparisons, man, we do have the blood and guts in the middle here, and I'll go through each individual figure. So I don't have the Unrivaled 3 1 of 500 loose. I have it meant on card. And then the Amazon exclusive 2-pack with Sting and Darby Allen. This is that head sculpt, but it's not the body. The body was used for a custom figure. So that's, that's what we got going on. I don't have every single Darby Allen loose. I would love to, you know, working on that, but we do have the rest of them here. So breaking it down, here's the Blood and Guts version. Here's the Unrivaled Series 3, the Ringside Exclusive Coffin Drop, the Unrivaled 11 from the Sting and Darby Allen. I think it was No Holds Barred match or something like that with the half Sting face paint, half Darby Allen. Then we have an Unmatched Series 1 with the Amazon 2-pack head sculpt. Then you have the Unmatched Series 1, the Unmatched Series 1 chase figure, which looks very similar, but it is different. The body is different. Target Exclusive Darby Allen and then Unrivaled 13. So a lot of Darby Allens, and I hope we get more because he's his figures feel so good in hand. They're very toyetic, and they're they're awesome, man. So this is just another one to add to the collection. I really enjoy Darby Allens figures, so having them all up next to each other here is spot on for me. Chef's kiss. Take a look at them. Let me know which one is your favorite down below. And then for your glutton, I almost said glutton butts. And then for your Glut and Butts 2-pack review, and then for your Glut and Butts 2-pack comparisons, here are all the male Blood and Guts comparisons. I do believe we have them all right here. I could be leaving one out. I know Britt Baker's not up here. Thunder Rosa's not up here. But, but this is all the male Blood and Guts figures from left to right. I mean, the Eddie Kingston technically is a shop AEW, but I include it in the Blood and Guts line. It's a bloody figure from AEW and Jazzwares. It's, in, it's, it's a Blood and Guts figure eh, nonetheless. Eddie Kingston shop AEW exclusive, Blood and Guts Wheeler Uda, Blood and Guts Blood Brothers 2-pack, Dustin Rhodes and Cody Rhodes. You have the Brody King and Darby Allen in the middle, of course. You have the Exploding Barbed Wire Deathmatch, Kenny Omega and John Moxley. And then you have the Dog Collar Blood and Guts match, CM Punk and MJF. Just a damn good lineup of figures right here, man. This looks awesome. You have so many top guys just beat the hell out of. I mean, this is what you love to see. Love this, man. Can't wait to see again who the next installments are, but I like this a lot. I like. You know what I really want to see now? I want to see a Sting and Darby Allen. Hell, even a four-pack of Sting's last match, and then you could have, like, shredded up back Darby Allen. I can kind of be cool with it come with a giant ladder and some glass panes that were breakaway i don't know i'm just throwing shish out there but yeah that pretty much wraps up our comparison but i think that pretty much wraps up our blood and guts darby allen and brody king last man standing ringside exclusive two-pack review man i like these figures a lot i you know i i, I really enjoy darby allen's figures they're some of the best that AEW and jazzwares bring together man they're just so poseable they feel fantastic in hand i say that about all of his figures him and kenny omega you just can't you can't mess with them man and brody king actually has developed that same sort of reputation his figures feel so good in hand. He's so toyetic. He, the likeness is great. So he's really moving up there, man. But these guys are very awesome. I, I love this pack. The Blood and Guts just entire saga so far has been really fun. I hope they continue it with Ringside Collectibles. Can't wait to see the next installments and things of that nature. And I feel like AEW and Jazzwares, man, they've been on a roll. I think they've been on a really good roll lately. And I hope they continue that momentum. We have the Supreme Sting coming. We have the Unrivaled Bucks, the Walmart exclusive Bucks. Actually, that uh, both of those actually go for pre-order today, man. 
man. So be on the lookout. Walmart Collector Con. Definitely go get your orders in. I think it goes up at like, I don't want to tell you the time. Just Google it, man. Just Google it. It's in the morning, though. It's like 10 a.m. or something of that nature. However, I am just, I, I feel like they're on a roll, man. And I think that this is another great step in the right direction. Can we get more consistent figures? Can we some get more bangers in the line? That's going to be what it's all about, man. So we'll have to see about that. But I, I think that these check the boxes that I like to see in the AEW Jazzwares line. And I hope they continue this rep. But uh, just so awesome, man. The blood and the guts is just <laughs> so awesome. And it's just, you know, it's kind of like the, you know, those tweets where it's like, you know, a man will look at this and think, hell yeah, that's what I think right here. So that's kind of what I'm thinking there. So love the accessories. I do wish that we got maybe a couple more weapons or something like that. But, you know, uh, for this little smaller two-pack, you know, with the skateboard and the tacks or the nails there, it's still awesome. I love their chains, their interchangeable stuff. Just a lot of good details packed in here. I like the update with Darby Allen and the tattoo. So this is great, man. So even though he adds a damn tattoo every day now, so they're like outdated already. So there's another thing. But yeah, I really enjoy these. And uh, oh, that's another thing about the tattoos. I will. I do wish they were a bit lighter. I don't like how dark they look here. At least on the his torso tattoos, they need to be a little bit thinner or something like that. If I had to nitpick, that would be my only thing there with the with a gripe with this pack is I just wish his tattoos were a little bit like thinner and lighter to be more realistic. But at the same time, I think everything else is just amazing. So. Yeah, man, if you guys want to grab this pack, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there, man. I'd greatly appreciate it. But huge shout-out to our patron members before we get out of here, man. Huge shout-out to those fellas over there, man. Thank you guys so very much for all that you guys do for me on a monthly basis, man. You guys are amazing. I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'm getting out of here. Have a blessed one.